Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at the F3 debug console and I'm going to see if the F3 debug console is actually going to lower our FPS inside our Minecraft game. Some of you have been asking me why I don't use the F3 console and I have actually noticed that the F3 debug console actually lowers my FPS whenever I use that to check out my FPS inside my Minecraft game. I am on the latest version of Minecraft so as you guys can see on the top left of my screen there I am on the latest version 1.18.1 and I also do have an FPS mod installed which is showing the FPS on the top left of my screen there and in today's video we're going to do a comparison and I'm going to see what kind of FPS I get in my normal game and then I'm going to check what kind of FPS the F3 console is giving me inside my game. I am going to use some additional tools as well so let's go and see if the F3 console does actually lower our FPS inside our game and then you can see why I would not recommend you guys use the F3 console to to actually check out your FPS inside your game. So let's go ahead and go into first person mode here. I'm going to stare at this block as you guys can see and right now I am getting 150 to 160 FPS. So I would say I am getting 160 FPS on average and now I'm actually going to go ahead and hit the F3 button on my keyboard. And as you guys can see, the FPS is actually showing on the top left here. So if you guys have a look at the top left section here, you can see that the FPS has actually dipped. So now the FPS is showing as 120 FPS. And now if I press F3 again, you guys can see that it's jumped back up to 160 fps now some of you might be thinking it's something to do with this mod and it might be the mod which is not giving me the correct information which is why i've gone ahead and installed and i'm going to run some additional programs to show you guys the fps that i am getting inside my game so let me go ahead and enable fraps so as you guys can see in the top right corner of my screen now i do have fraps installed and it's showing me the fps in a yellow text as you guys can see i'm also going to actually enable MSI afterburners counter so you guys can now see that MSI and Fraps are both showing me 160 FPS so Fraps is actually on the top right there and MSI afterburner is on the left. I'm also going to go ahead and enable one more program to show my FPS which is the Microsoft Xbox game bar and I'm going to go ahead and enable that now so let me go ahead and pin this and then I'm going to go back into my game so you guys should be able to see another counts at the bottom right here so let me go ahead and actually select the fps section here so you guys can see the fps so as you guys can see it's now showing me my fps on my screen right now so it's showing me around 140 to 150 fps so make note of that number i'm going to press the f3 button on my keyboard now and just take a look at the fps it actually goes down so it's actually showing me 120 fps so we can see that whenever i use the f3 button to display the debug console on my screen it shows me a lower amount of fps FPS. And when I get rid of the F3 console, you can see that my FPS actually increases back to the normal state. So in my opinion, the F3 debug console does give us a lower FPS value and I would not recommend it. And I would actually recommend that you guys use a different program like MSI Afterburner, Fraps or the Xbox Game Bar. I will leave a link in the description on how you guys can do that and what kind of program you guys can use to display your FPS. You can also go ahead and use the mod. So as you guys can see on the top left there, I am using a mod and you can go ahead and use that to display your FPS. If you guys are using stuff like Optifine, or sodium with sodium extra installed there are options there to enable the fps counter as well if you have any comments or queries about the fps programs that i have used today or if you've also noticed that f3 is giving you lower fps than what you should be getting then do leave a comment below it would be interesting to see what kind of results you guys are getting please also do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching